All right, guys, this is the second demonstration. Uh, this time we're making a valley spectrum using blending. All right, so it's a little bit more challenging, but it's a great way to learn how to blend. Uh, I have, if you notice, changed my water just because some, when the water gets too uh, colored, it can start to affect the, the, the actual paint on when you um, add that water. All right, and what we're going to do to begin with is make a little, make, make a rectangle. Okay, we don't, maybe about, let's see about this, this far across, and I'm going to sp uh, uh, sp actually split it into six parts. So down the middle, and then I want to split this into three parts. So it's sort of somewhat equal. If it's not exactly equal, that's no problem. And I'm going to split this side into three parts as well. Okay? Uh, you can use a ruler if you want, but it, it doesn't really have to be that exact. It's more the uh, we're tr we're just more than anything we're learning about mixing, and if it gets messy, actually that's a great thing. This time I'm going to put a uh, maybe two peas worth. I I was thinking of in the first demonstration what to call that uh, describe the the amount of paint to put on, and it should have been about a peas worth. But this is going to be about double that, so about two little peas worth of. Uh, of paint, the white and the black, right? So once you've got that, again, make sure you cover your ca your caps because acrylic paint dries, especially when it's a little bit warmer. And let me start with um, my. I need my brush to be a little, to be dry. Okay, I don't want too much water on that, otherwise it, it dilutes the paint too much. I'm going to pick up that white, and I'm just going to put it down. Right? I, this time, when we do blending, you want a little bit of a thick thicker layer of paint on. So again, some good um, long verticals and some short kind of horizontals. And the, it doesn't have to be exact. The main thing is you want to serve an even amount of paint on there. And if and in fact, you want maybe a little bit extra right along the edge there. Okay, so I've got my white down. I'm going to just push this down to make sure I get rid of all the extra paint. I'm going to dry that brush and uh, run it along the bottom of my water container there to get it nice and um, clean and tip that water off and dry again. This is an action that you're going to keep repeating. Okay, now pick up some of the black here and mix it into the entire amount of white. All right, just mix the whole thing again nice and smoothly like you did the last time. And um, I may have gotten a bit too much black in there. It looks like it turned too the value came a little bit too dark, but that's all right. We're experimenting. I could actually go back in with some white if I wanted to. In fact, but let's see what, what we can do here. Okay, so I want a nice big amount of, like a, a good amount of um, paint on there. Okay, that's one of the keys with blending. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to push off some of that extra paint in there. Take my rag rub off the extra paint, take my water, run it along there, get that clean, dab the, the extra paint uh, water off, again go back to the rag, dry my brush and oh yes, and then start blending. And here's the trick, okay, here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to do, it's a little bit, a bit of a cross action, right, a little X action here. So I'm going to bring, do this thing where I'm pulling some of this side into the, some of the white into the gray, and some of the gray into the white, okay? And then I'm gonna go on top of it. Now, what I can see here is I've mixed, I've made my gray too gray, too dark in value. So that's fine, let's just play with this. So what I want to do now is I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna take off some of that extra dark gray and so that my, my brush is, is dry and has less, uh, there's no ex extra paint on there. And along this edge, right? I'm going to do the same thing, create a little bit of all these little X marks because I'm going to pull again some of that white into the slightly lighter gray, right? And here again, go in and smoothen it out. Now, I don't want to bring my brush too far that side nor too far this side because otherwise I start pushing all the gray in there or I start bringing too much white into the other side. And so I've done that and I'm going to again dry my brush. Okay, I could go in and make it wet and dry it because I don't want the excess paint on my brush. 
and maybe do it one more time along this edge. Some of that X action there, a little crosses, and then going down with my brush to smoothen it out. Now that's given me um, a gradation. Now I can see a line kind of forming over there. I'm going to do the same thing. This time I'm going to clean my brush because it's getting a little bit dry and cakey with, with um, paint inside. So I clean my brush, dry it, and this line across here, I'm going to try and smoothen that out, bring some of the lighter gray into some of the darker gray and vice versa. And once I've that done, done, done that, I'm going to smoothen it out like that. That's good enough, I think. I think I went too, the, the, um, the change was too drastic, but that's okay. We were just learning. Okay, now I know that I shouldn't put as much black into my next mixture. I should keep it a little bit less. So, as you can tell, it doesn't have to be perfect. What's really the purpose for this is you're tr trying out something new. Ooh, look at that. There's not much of a change here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the black here. And I'm actually going to go in here and mix the black in directly to make it. So there's a, you, can, you can really get, kind of get creative here. There's no one formula. So I've made that rectangle darker by taking this and but mixing it in, but mixing it evenly across, making sure it all kind of mixes. And that's where you, why you want a little bit of extra paint because that allows you to do stuff like this. Okay, so I've got that down. Um, let me go back in here and um, take this paint off. And uh, we'll, let me dry, take the dry paint off, get it wet, clean, and then dry it again. And here we go. I'm going to back again to creating those little uh, crosses and bringing that down the middle there. Again, don't go too far that side. Don't go too far this side. That's not, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Okay. And again, we repeat our, uh, the same process. I can just go directly in now because it was the same color of, of um, gray and mix in the next amount of black. And this time, I'm going to look a little bit closer because I'm going to see how does what I'm mixing here compare what's already down there, right? So once I've mixed it quite smooth, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to hold it against the valley there. And I see it as my brush is actually still is lighter than that because remember, we took black and we mixed it just straight, straight into there. So that means I need to make get this darker because it has to. Ultimately, my goal is to make what I mix here be darker than what's than the last value that I put down on the paper. So let me get this uh, darker and you will find that you will make mistakes and those mistakes are great because they help you learn. That if you might go too dark, you might not go dark enough and through that process you learn kind of how paint works. So here again I bring it and I hold it against it and I say you know what it's actually almost the same now. I need more dark. I need to make the value darker. I need more black. Okay, so I'm going to get that in there and mix it all up nice because I want the whole thing to be the same value because it's going to be the basis for the next step of darkness after this. Okay, and I compare it and I say, yes, that looks, this, my brush looks darker than what's down there. So let me put it down, get a nice kind of thick layer. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to let it go up, over and down because I, I want to prove that it doesn't have to be perfect and put this here and kind of swivel it around, right? I want to kind of at the edge there to push out that, the extra paint inside there. Okay, procedure. Dry, dry rub, wash it at the, bring it up and dry it again. And now I'm going to go in with that same action, making, bring those X's to, Pull some of the paint from left side into the right and a little bit from the right side into the left. And once I've done that, I just smoothen it out along that line there. All right. Do I see any strong, if there's some strong lines that are created because of there not being enough of a blending, I can just go in there and just play around with it. All right. And now I need to go a step darker. Right. So I'm going to pick up quite a bit of black now because actually I've got quite a bit of paint on here. So... And the, the key is you can look at 
what you're making and you can start to see that there the difference in value like what that this is the key to values being able to to detect by holding one value against next to another you can see that it is lighter or darker um, and it might be hard for you on the through the video because you're a little bit further away but as you do it you'll f see exactly what I mean is that um, now I've got a dark gray that's almost black but it's not yet black and but it's that's kind of what I want because it's, I'm on my last uh, thing here so let me put that down okay and get some good amount of paint onto the paper so that's why I'm kind of just going over this and kind of laying I'm keeping my my paintbrush very flat if you notice like if I try to do that vertically you just push the paint up and down but if you do it flat you can actually layer paint up on top of paint okay if there's enough paint on here and I can even flip my paintbrush over because I see there's some extra paint on the back there right so I'm layering that down and the same procedure let's get this clean let's wipe it dry go in there rub it along the bottom of that um, water container dab the extra droplets off come back in dry it again nice clean brush perfect for blending and here we go along the line there that same X action and I'm gonna go and smoothen it down and that that looks pretty okay okay and now for the final right now I'm gonna the last one is gonna be pure black we went from pure white to pure black and this is where I need this brush to be clean because if I any of that gray is on there it's not gonna be pure black right so I'm gonna go clean that now sometimes I don't use my rag, rag rag before I just go straight in there because there's not a lot of paint on there but if there's a lot of paint on there better rub off the excess paint otherwise your water gets dark or gets um, colored really fast okay so and now we need some black paint you know what I've I used up all my black paint so I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of pure black paint here and be careful to close my tube otherwise it dries out and I'm almost there okay pick that black pure black paint and put it down okay and we need a nice oh it's getting a little bit dry here you see how that the marks that you, get, you see over here it means that my there's not enough um, paint on my paint on my brush but I've got some extra here as it okay so now I do if you might be able to see there's a, a distinct line between the pure black and the dark gray and I'm gonna get I want to blend that where those two places meet otherwise you'll see it as a line so here we go clean my brush uh, wipe off the excess go in with the water dry it out again and here's the last X action do the little X marks all the way down and then pull it so that you get the smooth transition there we go that is the end and oh I dropped a little bit of water right in the middle there I don't know if you can see it um, so that's gonna change the the acrylic paint a little bit but that's okay the purpose for this exercise is not to get a perfect spectrum but along the way to learn how to blend and also how to uh, go from pretty much as uh, from the light to dark okay if it ends up where you manage to get it from complete white to complete dark great if it doesn't end up exactly that way no problem in fact you can always try again but even if you don't, you've learned from what you've tried. Thanks, guys.